the updated version of the third generation Mazda 3 may not look all that different to the model it replaces, but it packs a bunch of changes underneath the skin to help it remain one of Australia's favourite cars. One of the most important changes is that the previously optional auto emergency braking is now standard across the range. The Max and above get all the previously optional safety pack features standard, plus rear auto emergency braking, but the base Neo still misses out on a standard reversing camera. Now if you look closely, you can see that the new model does get reshaped headlights and the chrome grille now runs right into the reflector, along with reshaped lower bumper openings and more slimline indicators. The back of the hatch gets a restyled bumper, but the sedan is exactly the same as before from behind. The SB25 models also get a slightly different wheel design, and the Astinas get a darker finish like the GT versions of the MX-5. On the inside, there's a bunch of detail changes including the new steering wheel from the CX-9, and the Touring upwards gets an electric handbrake instead of a lever. The 2 litre and 2.5 litre petrol engines are unchanged from before, along with the choice of manual or auto in any version. The top spec diesel Astina, however, has been dropped due to a lack of popularity. The chassis does get some big upgrades though, with revised structural elements and springs and dampers, which have improved the refinement and comfort across the board. Automatic models also now get selectable drive modes, which means you can choose between outright efficiency and the more aggressive sport mode that sharpens up the throttle and the transmission. The updated 3 is also the first model to get Mazda's new G-Vectoring control system, which is an extension of the stability control system that aims to reduce steering inputs and improve stability on slippery surfaces or at high speed. We put it to the test on a skid pan and a closed road loop, and you can feel a slight improvement over the old model with less tendency to slip at the same speeds. There's never been anything particularly wrong with the suspension setup on the 2 litre models with the smaller 16 inch wheels, but the updated 2.5 litre models on the bigger 18 inch wheels are now a much better balance between handling and everyday comfort. The Mazda 3 was already a very good small car, but the updated model has been polished in pretty much every area to make it that much better. Throw in the extra standard safety gear and it's a very compelling package. And if you want to read the full review, click the link right here.